In this video, we showcase Predos, a novel platform designed to identify emerging epidemiologic trends in prescription and other drug abuse practices as discussed among drug abusers on web-based forums. Predos is funded through an R21 grant by the National Institute on Drug Abuse and uses Web 3.0 and semantic web technologies to address the growing prescription drug abuse problem in the United States. Prescription drug abuse has been identified as one of the fastest growing forms of drug abuse in the U.S. and drug overdose death rates have more than tripled since 1990. In 2008, more than 36,000 people died from drug overdoses and most of these deaths were caused by prescription drugs. A hundred people die from drug overdoses every day in the United States. In May 2011, Coincident with the launch of the Predos project, the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy launched Epidemic, an initiative to curb the prescription opioid abuse problem in the U.S., mainly through education and drug monitoring programs. However, although existing epidemiologic drug abuse monitoring systems, such as the Community Epidemiologic Workgroup and the Drug Abuse Warning Network provide critically important information, there is a need for additional sources to provide enhanced capabilities for early detection and identification of new and emerging drug abuse trends. Predos is a semantic web platform developed by the Ohio Center of Excellence in Knowledge-Enabled Computing, NOESIS, and the Center for Interventions, Treatment, and Addictions Research, CITAR, a center of the Bunshaw School of Medicine at Wright State University, specifically for this purpose. Predos uses vast amounts of user-generated content from the World Wide Web to obtain insights into prescription drug abuse to provide new information on epidemiologic trends that complement existing surveillance programs. Predos currently mines close to 2.7 million web forum posts collected regularly from three websites on prescription drug abuse using custom web crawlers. The data are subsequently cleaned and stored in both structured and unstructured form for processing. The Predos information extraction module then uses a combination of lexical, pattern-based, and semantics-based techniques to filter and extract relevant posts based on the presence of entities and sentiment expressions. Extraction of relationships, triples, and various intelligible constructs such as dosage, frequency, route of administration, and emotion are ongoing in the Predos platform. For further details on the overall Predos system, please refer to our recently published article in the Journal of Biomedical Informatics. Critical to the Predos platform is a manually created drug abuse ontology which is the first ontology developed for prescription drug abuse in the literature. The drug abuse ontology, or the DAO, provides mappings between 193 standard concepts and 307 slang references to such concepts, including BOOP for buprenorphine, LOP for repermide, and SUBIES for suboxone. These slang to drug mappings are crucial for information extraction and also for search, as demonstrated on a gold standard data set consisting of 600 posts. In this gold standard, it was observed that for every instance of the surface form buprenorphine, there were 33 instances of slang terms used instead. Similarly, for lupermide, there was a 24 to 1 ratio of slang term use instead of the standard drug label. A knowledge of such slang to drug mappings is therefore critical for the retrieval of relevant content for data analysis and interpretation. In fact, based on the ontology-driven entity identification techniques provided by Noesis and the expertise of researchers at CITAR, the Predos platform played a crucial role together with existing qualitative analysis software in discovering new knowledge about the extramedical use of the anti-diarrhea drug loperamide which is sold over the counter in Imodium. Researchers discovered 
that web forum participants reported using loperamide to self-medicate from opioid withdrawal symptoms. Until now, this information was unknown to the scientific community, and further details about the loperamide withdrawal discovery are now reported in our article published in the Journal of Drug and Alcohol Dependence. Since then, the Predos platform has been enhanced with various components to support additional data analysis and interpretation tasks. In particular, a trend explorer has been implemented to enable longitudinal visualization of discussion trends and patterns based on drug mentions in web forum posts. In the given example, the line graphs display fluctuations in the number of posts on buprenorphine across the three sites selected for this study. Additionally, a custom search component has been developed to enable retrieval of specific discussions in which users share experiences, opinions, and other information about various drug abuse practices. In this example, web forum posts that discuss ways in which buprenorphine causes withdrawal have been retrieved for analysis. In future research, the Predos research team will continue to improve their information extraction and ontology enrichment techniques. Moreover, modules for unstructured text indexing, document summarization, semantic search and semantic browsing, along with improvements in data visualization, are also planned. Given the capabilities of the current system, it is our expectation that future enhancements will only serve to ensure that PREDOS has an even greater impact on prescription drug abuse epidemiology and ultimately inform public health interventions. We thank you for your attention and we thank you also for your interest in the Predos platform.